Yeah. There we go. Hello, family, friends, people of the internet. Thank you for tuning in again to my video. This week, I am joined with my doggy, Sammy. So I figured I would do the furry friend tag. I looked up the furry friend tag on Google, and this is the tag that is on QuoteTV.com, and we're just gonna go right on through it. There's nine questions, so. Number one is, what is your pet's name? His name is Sammy. Getting into question number two, what kind of pet is it and what breed? Um, he is a dog and he is the breed of Samoyed. Um, so Sammy the Samoyed. How long have you had your pet friend? So we've already had him for 10 years because we got him um, the day after my dad's birthday when I was in fourth grade and I am a sophomore in college. So, we will have had him for 10 years and he will be turning 11 in November. I don't know the exact date, but it's sometime in November. How did you get your pet? My mom did a lot of research and she was looking up different dogs and she surprised my dad for his birthday with this little pain in the butt. We went and picked him up in Boston. He flew in from Michigan. So we had to go and pick him up in Boston and then drive him back. So it was an awesome experience. I got to take the day off of school in fourth grade, you know, like rock on elementary school. Got to take the day off and go and pick up my little doggy. And how old is your pet? We discussed this um, earlier. He is going to be turning 11 in November this year. So he's an old man. What are some quirky things about your pet's personality? As of right now, um, since he's old, he pretty much does this all day. He likes to not like me. Um, he likes to go out and play. He loves to play. He loves to go outside and play. He loves to go on W-A-L-K-S because if I actually say the word, he's gonna jump up. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Well, since he was the one that we got after I had to put down my best friend when I was a kid, it meant a lot to me that we had him and it's meant a lot to me because even though I say he doesn't like me, he's been there with me through a lot and um, usually the days that I don't have work or school, which would be today, him and I would just kind of chill out, sit at home, and eat cinnamon toast crunch. He's not jumping up, okay. And there's so many memories with this dog. He is just my other best friend, and I always know that if I'm ever alone, he's always going to be here. So what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? Here comes this. Um, this is not regular like cinnamon toast crunch brand because my mom didn't get the regular cinnamon toast crunch brand so we are going with the knockoff generic brand which really isn't that good but you know what it serves its purpose so my favorite pastime with my dog with this little bug sammy is that after um when i was in high school i would come home from school and i would have about a couple hours or so before my brother would get home and before my parents would get home. So what we would like to do is sit out on the couch and we would like to eat cinnamon toast crunch and watch TV. So he loves it. Absolutely loves cinnamon toast crunch. Lastly, the last question, what nicknames do you call your pet? I call him Bubby. I call him asshole. <laughs> I'm not that in. Now he wakes up. Once I put food in front of him, he wakes up now. Yeah. So that was the furry friend tag, and I hope you enjoyed it. All the links to my social media stuff will be in the description bar below. And I was going to do the test your dog's intelligence with this one, but as you could see, he was sleeping before, so I didn't want to have to wake him up. I felt like being a nice sister today. 
I will see you all next week. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. <laughs>